And there's nothing like the late stage indicators that we've gotten throughout the latter half of this year, like the small caps leading higher before now outperforming on the downside, the banks and the tech stocks failing, and you've seen the international stocks really capitulate as well. And I don't know, I've heard a lot of arguments on air today. It seems to me a pretty simple explanation. The global economy is slowing, forecasts for growth, forecasts for profits have to come down. We have political turmoil in more than one but country, what including about our own. the U.S. economy? You're absolutely right. The global data looks terrible, everything. But the, even the jobless claims yesterday, they, they fell to almost a record low. They're, they look incredibly good. The retail sales numbers are strong. Can we be an oasis? Well, we can for a while, but not forever. And this is what a peak economy looks like. I mean, you don't, you don't get stronger from here necessarily, right? I mean, there are, it's going to be very hard to find... But that a catalyst could go on or a lever. I, I, we've not seen that before. In the markets, all three markets interest rate markets, commodity right. markets, and stock markets are telling us something entirely different. Paul, you've got a wireless fund. You've got extra cash there. Does that mean you're, you're not optimistic here? You know, I'm optimistic for the long term. I love to be buying some of my tech favorites uh, right here, right now. But the problem is, you know, most viewers and most investors are worried about if you buy something, even for the long term, that it takes. Uh, uh, a little bit of a spill in the short term. So the way I look at it is I have about 9% cash in the fund, and when I buy tech stocks, I buy them uh, slowly and deliberately, and I'm also buying a lot of techish names. What's and tech And that's important because the techish names are companies I think have tech drivers. Let's call them uh, in payment processing companies like MasterCard and Visa. I actually like uh, Boeing very much. I think it has a services business that is even more interesting than Apple services business. And the nice thing about some of these stocks is they are much lower volatility. Until the smoke clears in the sector, I'm more comfortable buying them and essentially playing defense or hiding, whatever you want to call it, hmm. until the smoke clears. And I agree with Ron, the smoke night not clear for some time. It's an interesting point, Ron, that you can take a name you wouldn't think of as defensive or a sector that isn't stated as defensive, but because of the sell-off and some attractive things about it, maybe those are places to look right now. Yeah, and it's interesting. You know, Paul and I have, have been doing this uh, together for almost 30 years, and, and you're going back to tech-ish. When you think about Visa and MasterCard, and everybody's talking about payments disruption, you know, Bitcoin's all the way back to 3200 bucks from 20000 Some of these things are not happening quite as quickly or at all as people had suggested. So hiding in quality is often a good idea idea in markets like this and you get paid for that you know that move out of the danger zone at least for a right. period of time obviously in terms of the names Paul that you are buying deliberately uh, and slowly that the real tech names not just the tech ish names what's on your list there's a couple of uh, names that I like and again I might be wrong short term with the timing but very confident long term among the majors that we uh, most often discuss on air I like uh, Google at a thousand dollars a share buy limit I think Autodesk is very interesting. Microsoft, it seems that it goes down far less than the other guys, and so it's a relatively defensive place, though I can't make a great valuation case there. But among the majors, I like those the most. Now, the next big decision for any tech investor like me is going to be not only when do we get back in the sector, but the uh, off the bounce, the industry within the tech sector that bounces uh, quickest and highest are the cyclical names, particularly semiconductors and semiconductor capital equipment. If I get that right, and that call will probably need to be made in the next couple of months, you could have a couple of semiconductor stocks that I'm not buying now, mm -hmm. but at some point could be doubles or triples off the bottom.